The S132 also has a floating soundboard. Every soundboard is always glued around the rim of the piano. On the S132, this portion, you can probably see the little indent there, is floating. It's not actually attached to the rim. Now, I'll just show you how that affects the sound, just by tapping. Could you hear the difference on that? I wasn't tapping harder in this section. It's because it can ring much more clearly. You see where the bridges are positioned. Obviously, to get towards the edge of the soundboard, you've got these bridges quite close to it. Although I notice the base one is cantilevered to optimize where it's attached. But if this region was glued down like this, you would get a very little ring or resonance from it. With this floating area, it rings, enabling it to project a much larger sound for its size. And that is one of the secrets why the S132 sounds so special.